Good morning, everybody. We are out here today. My son is with me. Um, see, now today, this is why I'm used to saying we. It's the last, last few times it has been being by myself, but I keep saying we. But we established we is me and you. Today, it's me and you and my son. So we are out here today, and we are getting ready. Gun, you can let him in whenever you want. We're going to start... Uh, we're going to do some uh, dolphin trolling this morning. We did a tournament a few days ago, and really not a lot of big fish, but there were a lot of dolphin. Um, so you got to weed through all of them to, uh, to get the legal ones, but you know we managed to get uh, seven or eight. I think it was seven. Um, we had to stop short, though. One of the guys that was with us got sick, and we had to we stopped fishing around noon, 11.30, 12, 12.30-ish. Uh, to head back so we came back out today to see if we could get some more uh, mahi we are still in this uh, front if you didn't see that other video we're kind of in this massive tropical system that has been just pounding our city with water uh, over the last it was five days constant non-stop rain you can see how cloudy it is today it's raining but the winds have really 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 died down so Good day, good day to get out here uh, and see if we can get some mahi. So we're gonna start setting our lines and uh, we'll bring you along. Baby one, let's leave him in the water. Is that the green skirt? Again, the green skirt. We got another green one. Now he might be legal. Normally guys, what you do is you leave him in and the other fish will come close to the boat. Kind of bring him in. He wants to get him. That guy looks like he's gonna be legal. Be careful with the wire. It doesn't cut your hands. And just fling them in quick. Oh, yeah, for sure. Get him measured up. 23 inches. Oh, sh Oh, Nelly, he almost went in the water. So, guys, we are on the board with our first Mahi. Let me get this guy in the cooler. Our first one. We just set the lines out, so... It's looking good. Oh, no, they put our sandwich down. It's a big one, we're pulling him in. Watch out for that seaweed, don't break the line. You got that drag, it's super high. You think that's a, a good one? Yeah, it's not jumping. Let him get tired. Oh, Nelly. Oh, it's seaweed. No, it has a lot of seaweed. I know. That's it. So it's not. Uh, That's big, but slow the boat down. Nice and easy. You're going to have to walk back. Oh, buddy, is it even a big dolphin or is it just 100 pounds of seaweed? Fling him in then. He's not small, that's a keeper. That one's bigger than the other one. Again. The old green. Let's do this one as a team. Ooh, that one's nicer, come on. Look at this guys, look at how beautiful. Turn this down. Look at how beautiful these guys are. This is excellent eating right here. Just beautiful fish. Ooh, 24 inches. They're getting bigger. Let's uh get both of them on green. Yeah, let's get both of them on green. We have trolled now a bunch of different colors. And for some reason, get the yeah. They uh they seem to only be hitting the uh the green skirts so let's put two green skirts let's give them what they want to eat i mean the dolphin are here we uh we've been fishing for like 15 minutes and we got two keepers so we are going to keep trying we introduced the baby to uh dolphin for her first time after the tournament that we did and she loved it so so far she's had mutton snapper and dolphin so at least 
we now have dinner. We're gonna get this rigged up, set the lines, and see if we can get two of these green ones to be working. All right, guys, so we had a good amount of action right when we first started, and then the current rips that we were following kind of dissipated. So we've moved out a little bit deeper. We got a nice little rip here with, uh, with the most seaweed that we found, right? So when you're dolphin fishing, you want to look for those seaweed, the sargassum weed patches. But with the waves that we've been having, I mean, we've been getting pounded with, uh, with bad weather. They're really not together like they usually are when it's nice and calm. So we are trolling right here next to this thing. It's a very nice, nice long uh, rip here in the current. You got one? Here we go. Oh, oh we got two. Oh. No, this one's gone. over. Baby, this one hit again. It's on. It is? It's on. It's on. Oh, Nelly. He came back. Yeah, bring that one on and get, get the flat line out. That guy's legal. Just swing him on, throw him, move him forward so we don't get hooked. This one does not look legal. Go under me. <laughs> okay, hold on because we. You on? Yes. Oh, Nelly. Now it's getting interesting. Get Is that guy a keeper? Get yeah, we're fine with that. Focus on what you're doing right now. Boom! <laughs> the second one is a keeper too. Mira. Here's the jig that you said they don't like. He's out there. <laughs> Here. Yeah. Reel him in. Another keeper. Oh! Heartbreak Hotel. Pulled the hook right by the boat. Oh, uh oh, what's going on over there? You got a splash over there. That was your jig? You got him? Oh. Oh, the biggest one of the day. Yeah. Quick. Like when I do it. Quick, baby, that jig. All right, buddy, grow and get big. Yeah, you were going fast, and I thought that's why it was... Oh, he swallowed it on the way down. On the way down. Okay, keep you keep jigging because there's definitely more of them here. I'll set up. They ate that other one, that dio on the way down. It was coming out of my hand and it was like yellow tailing. Yeah, that's that Daiwa jig. They're not monsters, but you take them all day long. Those are good little fillets. So guys, I don't know if the camera can pick it up here. We're kind of drifted here. You can see some of this weed that I'm talking about behind the boat. It's a little strand over here. Kind of looks like this. They get in big, big patches. And what happens is that the bait fish are gonna be underneath that, like shelter. It's like a whole ecosystem under that. And then, you know, the, the bigger fish are coming to eat the bait fish, and then the bigger ones are coming to eat those. And it's a circle of life under there. He's been on the way out. But he's on still? Yeah. Baby. Hurry up and let it out, hurry up. Keep her, baby. 
Get it on the boat. Walk with me. Here. Here, do this. Yeah, 21 inches. 21? 21. Again. Hold on, bud. You are having a blast reeling fish in today. It's like one after the other. It's small. Let me get him here, get this flat line. Well, we still got the other one. Let me put, I'm gonna put both motors in gear. 23 inches. Go ahead and pick up that flat line. Which one? This one? Yes. No, buddy. Is it a fish or is it that ball of... Here, switch with me and you reel it. Here, so you can enjoy it. It's a fish. Yeah. Mm, I don't know. Nope, he's good. It's the smallest one that we've caught today, but it's legal. We're just going straight down the side of this uh, current rip. We've just been going back and forth, plucking out a couple every time. With the green skirts, the infamous green skirts. I'm using the autopilot to drive the boat. So I set it right along the edge of it. That way we get a fish, we get hooked up, I can go help him. The boat is still traveling down the side of the, uh, of the current rip here. The autopilot really just makes it a lot easier. We use it a lot trolling. When I'm sword fishing, I'm by myself setting the lines. Oh, this is... Oh, uh, there you go. There you go. What happened? Uh, you got to check that bait. Yeah, he's on it. Look at that line, how it's going down. There he is. Anybody else following him? Fuagata! Tada! Another one for dinner. Check it out, guys. These are beautiful sized dolphin. Excellent fillets, excellent fish tacos, grilled, you name it. All right, we're still going down the side of it. See guys what I'm saying with the autopilot. Now we're still driving down. We still got the port side line is still out still fishing and I could leave the helm and come back here help him get another skirt on this ballyhoo and we could get it back in the water and get back to fishing and if you're by yourself really really helpful to have the uh, autopilot I don't see it oh there you go you're on you're on you're on 
Go, 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 go. There you go. Keep tension on him. Oh, there you go, buddy. Dolphin Slayer. This whole weed line is loaded, man. I don't see him. Nah, that's legal. Oh, I'm just trying to be careful not to get a hook. These rigs have two hooks and I don't want to get that second hook in my finger. That guy was really hooked. Another one, buddy. There's some thicker patches coming up ahead. Oh, Nelly. I was gonna shut the cameras off. We are back on again. Nelly, you're gonna have to go under, go under. There you go, you got him. Oh, Nelly, go back. <laughs> Let me slow down a little bit for you. Bam, baby! What? <clears throat> Oof. He was barely hooked. In the lip. You know how many times he jumped up? In the lip. 22, baby. Keep that line out. Keep that line out. I'll do it on this camera in case he is shaking. This is a boy dolphin. You can see, oh, come on buddy, don't be camera shy, how the head is like flat right here. The girls are very rounded. So another one in the cooler. So on the tournament day, we had 30 pounds of uh, cut sardines that I cut up and we were using it as chunk bait to toss it out. And I really like doing that because what it does is if there's other fish back there they're all going to start following that coming towards the boat then when you're pitching your your chunk baits out here right behind the boat they're very close to you they're all coming up you're on you're on real baby real take this rod out of here just when we were thinking dead Bigger? Yeah. You feel bigger? You aren't getting tired from catching so many dolphins. Yeah. Put one motor in here.
squid. Target species, but it's pretty cool. Dolphin. Yeah, this guy's around. Look at that. All right, let's get this guy off. Send him on his way. There he goes. Swim away. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, we're on, we're on, we're on again. Oh, Nelly. Another barracuda. No, that's a dolphin, dolphin! Oh, that's a big boy! That's what we've been waiting down, for! Down. So get the barracuda. Remember the barracuda, you remember? Come on. Yeah, yeah, barracuda ain't gonna bite nothing now. There you go, buddy! That's the one we needed on Wednesday. Get him in here. That's the biggest one we've gotten. Swing him in! Oh my god. He was surfing the gunnel. Okay, we Buddy, done. you are killing it today, really. Let's measure this one. I think this is the biggest one so far. Twenty-five and a half. Take a look at this. Beautiful, beautiful specimen right here. We're on, we're on, real, 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 baby. Baby. No, let's just keep following it. Good problem to have. It's 10:43 in the morning. We got 13 dolphin in the cooler, and we're down to our last bait. Um, so yeah, I think we got to do something else. We're gonna have to. Uh, we're gonna have to take those bottom fishing baits. I think we're gonna have to try to do some bottom fishing. It's so early. People haven't even got up to eat breakfast yet. And we got a bunch of dolphins in the pool. Alright, baby! 
baby. Descending device. You guys will show you this descending device. The fish when you bring them up too quick. So what we're doing is we're just gonna hook them right here. Hi. Trying to save you. And this is gonna go down, and what it'll do is it pressurizes the fish, and then it'll open and it safely releases the fish once it it gets down there. Oh, Nelly! This looks like the one for fish tacos. Okay, that's what we want to see, baby. Stopping the reel. These tacos tonight, baby. Cooler. Have the leg quick. <laughs> Look at this. Check this guy out. Give me the uh, flyer so I can. Yeah, baby. Check this beautiful specimen out. are all beat up from the dolphins. Look at this bad boy. Measure? Yeah. Fire 22. I'm low. These guys have to just be 20. The beating is not Check it out. Alright, so not the target species that we wanted. We wanted muttons, but I'll tell you a secret here. Pro tip, these guys make excellent fish tacos too. <laughs> guys, we are, we're 
picking it up. We, uh, we had an unbelievable morning with Mahi. We, uh, we got 13 dolphins, Mahi Mahi. Some of our viewers might think they're flipper dolphins. But we call them dolphins also, the Mahi Mahi. But we got 13 of them in the cooler. And then I steamed all the way down here to Key Largo to some of our mutton spots that we got in the deep water. We got one mutton. Unfortunately, it was too small. And uh, we had to let him go. And I've been trying for the mutton for some, uh, for some mutton fish tacos. So I got, got plenty of mutton. But, uh, but I love mutton. Um, we managed to get uh, two red groupers. One of them was also too small, but we got to keep a red grouper there. And my dad loves red grouper, so that's going to be his gift. And uh, we ended up catching a barracuda and a shark. So, but we got some really nasty storms. We're still in this nasty weather system that's here. We've got lightning storms all around us. So we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and call it a day. Head back. We got a, a long, long night ahead of us of cleaning fish and cleaning the boat. But thank you for watching. We'll see you on the next one.